<laughs> if you had the option to restart your life from the beginning once you die, would you and why? If I can restart with memories of certain moments in my life where I made stupid decisions dot 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 and I knew making a different choice would have had better outcomes. 100%. I would at least once feel like I'd be playing with cheat codes, would have thrown my life savings into Bitcoin, pulled out at the 2017 high, reinvested as the bottom. Pulled out again towards the most recent high, reinvested into Doge, then pull out there and put it back into Bitcoin, that's what I do for financial freedom. Then I feel like I could also do a lot more in the romantic aspects of my life. Just some ideas. Number, unless the butterfly effect is not real, and I'm guaranteed to wind up with my wife and kids regardless of timeline changes, my childhood sucked. Make no mistake, but my family now is worth all that pain, easily. I've seen your reply to other asking about details of your question so here's what I would do. Yes, having the opportunity to start the same life with the chance to take different decisions is too tempting to not accept it. Of course I don't know if those different choices would be better or worse but definitely I would accept the chance. Hell number. I've made a lot of fucked up mistakes in my life but I have a wife that I love and daughter who I'd fight a bear over. If I changed anything in my past, it would have a domino effect that may result in me not meeting my wife or messing up the timing of my daughter's conception and thus erasing her from my life. What good is becoming a billionaire again from a life of foreknowledge if I have to carry the guilt of knowing I essentially killed my child to do it? I don't think I would, purely for my own sanity. I would look at it all with this weird lens of knowing what might happen and already knowing the people, and would start to overthink it all. As horrible as my life can be, it would be ten times worse if I was going around like Cole Jeremy's going to betray me in five and a half years so I'll miss him. And let's try to get this I'm queer thing going quickly so we don't have to deal with the suicidal thoughts and on and on. You know, it would honestly be better to just move on. I don't think I would, purely for my own sanity. I would look at it all with this weird lens of knowing what might happen and already knowing the people, and would start to overthink it all, as horrible as my life can be. It would be ten times worse if I was going around like Cole Jeremy's going to betray me in five and a half years so I'll miss him. And let's try to get this I'm queer thing going quickly so we don't have to deal with the suicidal thoughts and on and on. You know, it would honestly be better to just move on. Even if my life is the same and I don't have the chance to change anything, Yes, I would love to live again the years I got to spend with my childhood doggos. I would hug them more, take better care of them, be happier with them. They passed away in 2016 and since then it feels like time stopped. God, I miss them. Would I know what happened in this life so that I could avoid the mistakes the next time around? Because if so, absolutely, I would avoid every mistake I've ever made. I wouldn't have suffered those childhood head injuries because I'd know not to play fucking bat catcher without a helmet when I'm 7 years old. I'd know who to avoid, who to let into my life. I'd know what to do and what not to do. I'd do things right and have a great life. I'd also do future man things like stop 9-11. Yeah, sign me up. The question is a paradox. If you died and started a new life, you wouldn't be you anymore. The new person would be another new person, just like all the babies being born today. Unless we're talking about memories somehow carrying over in the ether. There is nothing left to make you you anymore. Up until and long after you die, new lives will be started, and they will be conscious. The consciousness will look and feel very similar to the one you have now and it will live through that entire life from start to finish. You might as well think of them all as past and future lives, or other lives being lived simultaneously. Our language isn't so good at describing non-linear time. 
If I could go back to the same life I have now, I'd spend as much effort as possible connecting with my dad, especially when it came to letting him know he wasn't alone. He got heavily into drinking after we had a falling out after he and my mum went their separate ways. He was never abusive or an asshole by any meaning of the words, just a very lonely man who felt terribly isolated. The signs were all there, and I know if I'd have tried my hardest, I could have helped him. He wound up dying alone, in a homeless shelter. The worst part was I had absolutely no idea, as I'd not connected with him for 8 months and assumed he was still living in my hometown. I hated, and I mean, fucking despised the thought of just how scared he must have felt. He wasn't fit or conditioned to living on the streets, drunk and high on a daily basis. He played golf before, even went on and on about all the cheese boards he'd buy. It sounds cliche, but I've never screamed as loudly and as painfully as I did when I got home after work. After hearing the news from my mom, I wanted to smash whatever rests above square on in its jaw and demand to know why it allows such horrible things to happen. Sorry for the downer, but that's definitely what I do. Exclamation mark trigger warning. Yes, if I had the chance I would go back to that one day when I was sexually assaulted by somebody I had trusted and refused to go to his bedroom. I was a gullible child. If I could undo that, I would have a happier life. That one event stuck with me and I believe it is the cause of my depression. Please do not ask for details. I do not like talking about it. In the same body? No, I wouldn't. I have chronic conditions that are genetic and they suck enough that I've already decided to not have biological kids because I don't want to put them through what I've been through. Maybe if I had a different body I would just to see what living a normal life would be like. Yes, definitely, I'd redo the decisions I made during the various turning points of my life. I'll cherish past friendships more and avoid my previous destructive behaviors and habits. I'll take time to listen to my grandparents' stories, play with my childhood dog, listen to that lonely kid in class, befriend those who were used to be bullied in high school, and so many more things. We did so many dumb things when we were young and I just want to find peace by reliving some of them and do better. I would. Whether I remember everything before or not, I'm restarting my life but I'm not time traveling back in time so I'll be having a completely different life the next time over. I'll be meeting completely different people and that will then shape me in a completely different way than I was previously. If I had the option of restarting my life with my current knowledge, I would. That way I could avoid a lot of trauma and bad decisions and periods of my life where I was absent due to depression and anxiety. I kinda of think, we are on a loop, we do this over and over. I also believe certain people that have been classified schizophrenic with hallucinations are seeing their past lives and past people they have interacted with in themselves in their past. But that's a bit out there and makes me look nuts. Yes. I'd spend my early life in dark ages, no internet, phones, computer, but it will be worth it. Will save my father from cancer, mother from depression, make my family filthy rich, save some other relatives who died in accidents, visit Wuhan to avert COVID-19 crisis. Yes, but not for the reasons that I think people are expecting. I just am genuinely afraid to never have a chance at existing again and restarting my life, even if that means I have to relive my abuse, means that I have a chance to live and breathe again. So long as I get to keep the memories, knowledge I had from this go around, I definitely would. I wouldn't change most things, but little things here and there, like slight course corrections, making better decisions with my health, money time management, being better prepared for school, maybe getting a part-time job in high school, definitely getting a part-time job in college, etc. Despite its ups and downs, I have had a pretty good life, so I don't think I'd want to change much. 
I've been wishing for that since I was about 5 years old. I screwed some things up really early on. I took my pain out on others, and I truly wish I had not done that. I should have just found a way to tell someone who could have done something about it. God, I wish I could do that. Wake up tomorrow with another chance right from the beginning. Start over from first grade or so. Yes, as long as I kept my knowledge, I'd do many things differently. Mostly telling someone when my uncle abused me instead of keeping it a secret until 29, and never touching alcohol. Or better, somehow murdering my uncle when I was a toddler and couldn't be charged. Do I get this choice every time I'd die? If yes, I'd probably just keep returning to fuck shit up and see where I end up. Like if there were like a list of different realities I've lived, I'd just keep changing something until I end up satisfied. But OFC, I'm too young to be satisfied with my current position in life, so who knows, I might end up with a great first life and call it the day. It would depend on the parameters of the restart. Would I have access to my old life's memories and just restart from the beginning of my own life like a game respawn? Would it be more like a reincarnation and I would restart but in a different situation? If it's the former, then yes. Would be nice to know what's coming up and change things to try and improve it. If it's the latter, then I would have a little more trepidation just because it would be a completely new situation without a roadmap really. If I could relive my life knowing what I know now, and I don't mean lottery winning numbers, I would. I'm in my 40s and only now do I understand the importance of mental health, nutrition, how to navigate office politics, not to be a people pleaser, to look out for red flags in relationships etc etc. Yes and no, I would deeply miss all the bonds I formed. It would be really weird to run up to the kid versions of all my friends and yell that we're actually family. I wouldn't be able to hold back and prove it by saying all their deepest secrets or whatever. Only reason I do want to restart would be if I could save life somehow. Obviously I would have invested ship tons into Bitcoin and Ethereum as soon as I could. I don't think I'd change anything honestly. I'm 28 and have 3 kids about to have 4 with a woman I couldn't imagine being without. We met right when I went to Amsterdam for some stuff and she held down my place while I was gone. I completely thought she'd take all my money and stuff while I was gone because we'd literally just met 2 weeks prior but came home to something completely different. She's always been my ride or die and has saved me from some really stupid situations. Life sucks sometimes but it's completely worth it. Go live it up. 100% I want more out of life than anyone can do in one lifetime. Assuming I had some memory of my past life. I would make some different choices. If I had no memory of my past life and would end up making the same choices, I would still do it. I have enough happy memories I'd love to relive. Hell yeah, if I could prolong my life into the future past my lifespan and experience the things our species will accomplish I'd do it in a heartbeat. Even now at the rate we're progressing it's very possible that at my age I could live well past the year 3000 if we don't face a major extinction event beforehand. Can I do it with the same people, or would I be starting my life new from the point at which I die and would relive my life with different people? If I can do it with the same people, yes, 100% I would. I hated my life through early college but ended up transferring and meeting my best friends and I wouldn't want to do things over again and not have them with me. Yes, you're practically traveling back in a time machine retaining anything you have stored in your mind. Personally I would do it for good, and not just to have a good time. That's what I did in my first life. You could make tons of money, you could make people believe anything you say, you could stop disasters, you could probably change the world and go down with honor from every nation. You might be able to push the world 10 years into the future, you could probably solve world hunger. You could have evil people assassinated. The possibilities are endless. 
I don't think I would because I like my life now, but I made some stupid decisions before, and I'd like to change those. Problem is, if I change those, my life might not end up like it is now, and I may end up hating my life. There's a lot of risks. I may be overthinking this though. I would maybe just restart my life and make the exact same choices so I get to experience it again. That could be fun. No I would not want to restart my life again from the beginning upon death. I'd love to study it thoroughly on a private jet for another lifetime though. After fixing it completely to the specific detail, I wouldn't mind living it again with the corrections and a knowledge of the changes. Yes, definitely, I'd redo the decisions I made during the various turning points of my life. I'll cherish past friendships more and avoid my previous destructive behaviors and habits. I'll take time to listen to my grandparents' stories, play with my childhood dog, listen to that lonely kid in class, befriend those who were used to be bullied in high school, and so many more things. We did so many dumb things when we were young and I just want to find peace by reliving some of them and do better. I would. Whether I remember everything before or not, I'm restarting my life but I'm not time traveling back in time so I'll be having a completely different life the next time over. I'll be meeting completely different people and that will then shape me in a completely different way than I was previously. If I had the option of restarting my life with my current knowledge, I would. That way I could avoid a lot of trauma and bad decisions and periods of my life where I was absent due to depression and anxiety. I kinda of think, we are on a loop, we do this over and over. I also believe certain people that have been classified schizophrenic with hallucinations are seeing their past lives and past people they have interacted with and themselves in their past. But that's a bit out there and makes me look nuts. Yes. I'd spend my early life in dark ages, no internet, phones, computer, but it will be worth it. Will save my father from cancer, mother from depression, make my family filthy rich, save some other relatives who died in accidents, visit Wuhan to avert COVID-19 crisis. Yes, but not for the reasons that I think people are expecting. I just am genuinely afraid to never have a chance at existing again and restarting my life, even if that means I have to relive my abuse, means that I have a chance to live and breathe again. So long as I get to keep the memories, knowledge I had from this go around, I definitely would. I wouldn't change most things, but little things here and there, like slight course corrections, making better decisions with my health, money time management, being better prepared for school, maybe getting a part-time job in high school, definitely getting a part-time job in college, etc. Despite its ups and downs, I have had a pretty good life, so I don't think I'd want to change much. I've been wishing for that since I was about 5 years old. I screwed some things up really early on. I took my pain out on others. And I truly wish I had not done that. I should have just found a way to tell someone who could have done something about it. God, I wish I could do that. Wake up tomorrow with another chance right from the beginning. Start over from first grade or so. Yes, as long as I kept my knowledge, I'd do many things differently. Mostly telling someone when my uncle abused me instead of keeping it a secret until 29 and never touching alcohol, or better, somehow murdering my uncle when I was a toddler and couldn't be charged. Do I get this choice every time I'd die? If yes, I'd probably just keep returning to fuck shit up and see where I end up, like if there were like a list of different realities I've lived. I'd just keep changing something until I end up satisfied, but OFC. I'm too young to be satisfied with my current position in life, so who knows, I might end up with a great first life and call it the day. I read this to my husband and asked for his response, he really looked into the distance and said yeah, I'd try for the good ending, like, I am the good ending. He had a good run, 
Yeah, seriously, if I could retain all the knowledge I have accumulated in my life and do it over and over again, then yes, I would try for better results, like start school earlier, not become friends with someone who was a backstabbing witch, spend more time with the loved ones I lost way too soon, maybe start dating my husband earlier do we would have longer together, stuff like that.